Hey there guys, I'm super excited to share this new catalog with you today. This is the September, October 2021 Close to My Heart seasonal catalog and this has a whole new look. You're going to see and I think you're going to love it. So let's dive in. Of course we have the table of contents and then there's a little bit about how you know becoming a maker if you're interested in that and then there's also the VIP program where when you become a VIP customer you can can earn 15% credit to use on future orders, receive a free stamp of the month every month with your order or your qualifying purchase, and of course access to exclusive offers and specials. So that is an awesome way to um, you know, stretch those crafty dollars and get 15% credit on all of your orders. And then we flip over to the Craft with Heart subscription kit. So there's a scrapbooking kit and a card making kit. And you can do a four month or a 12 month subscription. And right now, if you sign up for the 12 month subscription, you get a free stamp set. There's one for the cards and one for the scrapbooking. But you can see these are like ready to go kits. And I love the artwork on these layouts. So what we're looking at here is September, October, November, and December. You get two layouts for each month. And then the cards, and they're always, you know, seasonal, seasonally appropriate, but they always have a little bit of everything. There's Christmas and birthday and just kind of every occasion cards, um, all sorts of good stuff. And again, you can just you get all everything you need to create those. You basically just need a tape runner and they're really fun to step them up a bit too as I like to do here on my channel. I don't know if I'm more excited about this paper pack or the next one I'm going to show you, but I am totally a fall girl. I love the change of the seasons and where we live, we do have a really nice fall where we get that crisp weather and all the trees change colors and it's just gorgeous. I love all the traditions of the season. And so I'm pretty excited about this paper pack. This is called pumpkin spice and I actually have this one so we can take a closer look rather than just seeing it here in the catalog but um, I'll show you the paper pack and the coordinating sticker sheet and then I have some of the embellishments as well. I don't know what it is when you see it in the catalog when you see it online it looks good when you see it in the catalog it looks even better and then when you get it in your hand you're like oh my gosh that's amazing so this is the sticker sheet it's a 12 by 12 sticker sheet and these are like heavy cardstock weight stickers and you can see we have these really cute little um, kind of banner cut pieces little embellishments to add to your layouts and then of course all sorts of fun fall uh, themed embellishments. I love the pumpkin collection and then we have like this is one long stri strip for borders and then all of these word stickers and then there's a few title options on here as well. Heart full of thanks, thankful for every moment, together we make a family, and happy autumn days. So some really nice title options on the sticker sheet. And then for the paper pack, look at how pretty that is. I just love it. This just is my favorite page in the whole pack. It's so pretty. So every page is double sided. So when we turn it over, we have a whole different pattern and they go beautifully together, of course, but you get two of each paper. And then on the top here, we have the zip strip, which is the branding strip. And I always cut those off and use them on my layouts. So the second sheet is this really fun kind of polka dot color or colorful polka dot background here. Look at those cute little acorns on the border. And on the other side, we have this really pretty um, tone on tone stripe. So two of those. And then this is fun. We have kind of these sweaters and books and a little cup of coffee or tea there, whichever you prefer. Just reminds me of a cozy fall afternoon. And I just absolutely love the thought of that. And then the other side are these gorgeous, colorful fall inspired trees. So this color here is called Harbor. And I don't even know, it's like this kind of this deep blue, green, gray, I guess you would call it, but I am super excited about it. It's a new color for this upcoming year. So this is the pumpkin spice paper pack. And let me see, I think I have a few other goodies to share with you. 
So as you can see over here, we have the pocket cards and these are great if you're a pocket scrapbooker or like I like to use them on my layouts for embellishments and titles. So the pocket cards and they're not all shown here, but there's some super cute ones. I have, there's always two sizes, the three by fours and then the four by six and they're oriented in both horizontal and vertical. So they really can be customizable, but look how cute that one is. Welcome to our patch. I just absolutely love these autumn and little plaid orange and white kind of gingham pattern there home sweet home and then of course you know you just have some really nice patterns and colors hey cutie pie I love that one it's really fun in all things give thanks just lots of good stuff and then these wooden stickers these are cool um, they come with the, an adhesive backing and they're actual wood. So they have this really cool texture to them and you pop them out of the carrier sheet. You, these are, you do have to be, you know, gentle with these when you pull them out and adhere them to your projects um, because they are thin and that's nice because then we don't have a lot of bulk on our layout. But yeah, I'm really excited to use these in um, upcoming projects. Okay, I'll scoot those out of the way. For you digital scrapbookers, they have a digital art collection which gives you icons to go with the theme. And there's also a um, scrapbook layout and a card there as well. So those are really fun. So when we turn the page, you can see the coordinating stamps that go with these. Now, anything shaded in this white color here you, has a coordinating thin cut available. You can get the stamp only or the stamp with the thin cuts. I love to get the thin cuts because it just makes things easier for me. But look at this artwork. Look how pretty that card is with this little cluster of pumpkins. And then they have some scrapbook layout ideas there. But this one is called Pumpkin Spice Card Making. And pumpkin spice scrapbooking but of course they're totally interchangeable i'm very excited about these pumpkins and we'll definitely be getting all the pumpkin themed stamps there's also a workshop for each paper packet or paper collection and i usually get them and i switch them up if you guys have been watching my channel for a while you know i like to do my own thing but honestly I really, really like these. They're absolutely gorgeous. And part of it is pre-printed on the background layer. Um, so they're quick, they're easy, and it's kind of like following a cookbook. They give you everything you need except, you know, the adhesive, and they do tell you some additional supplies, um, you know, like a pewter journaling pen and some 3D foam tape and just some things like that but you can get it with page protectors, the cardstock you need, there's exclusive die cuts that are available in the workshops that you can't get any other way. But it is, it is a really easy way to get your photos documented without spending a lot of time. And like I said, these are gorgeous. I love these layouts. Definitely excited about the scrapbooking workshops in this go around. There is also a card making workshop. So you have four designs, you get to make 16 of each and they give you this um, stamp set that is again, only available with the workshop. But look at this thin cut here. That's really neat thin cut and you can kind of, it has the score lines and you fold it up and make this really decorative, pretty banner element here. So for you card makers, there is the card making workshop also. So this is the second paper pack and it's Christmas themed. It's called Holly and Ivy. To me, it has kind of a vintage vibe, vintage feel to it. And I just think it's absolutely beautiful. So let's dive in and take a closer look at what is in this collection. Okay, so I don't have this paper pack in my hands quite yet, so um, otherwise I would give you a closer look. But traditional colors, we've got that beautiful red and green, and then there's kind of the tan in there. Let's see, I think it is toffee. Yes, it is toffee. This gives you all of the colors, so when you want the coordinating inks as well, it makes it super easy. But look at this layout. Let's take a closer look at that. I love those little fawns. I just think they're so sweet. This is a very classic, timeless layout. Okay, so we have our paper pack, our sticker sheet here. I love that comfort and joy. May your days be merry and bright. Noel, lots of fun things on there. 
and some just different word stickers on the bottom. And then of course there's the coordinating card stock. There are some die cuts. We've got like holly leaves and bows, little uh, maybe poinsettia or poinsettia type flowers, however you wanna say it. Um, there's like a, a, um, a buck here with this beautiful antlers. And then of course all the pocket cards and the digital art collection is really fun because look at all those tags. This layout is kind of like it has pockets where you can slide the tags in and I think that's a really clever idea. I'm uh, thinking I wanna create that one, it's pretty fun. So, and then some title options on there as well and this would be good to make gift tags as well. And then of course we have the coordinating stamps. So this is what I mean, doesn't that kind of just, both of these have like a vintage feel to them. I just feel like this Santa is old fashioned and I love this just ribbon with the um, garland sticking out the top where you can stamp the different sentiments on the ribbon. I just think that's really, really pretty. And then over here we have this beautiful scripty font, um, holidays, Christmas, countdown to Christmas, um, December 25th in a circle. And then there's those fonts that were on the first uh, page that we started looking at this collection. So here's a scrapbooking workshop. And again, I don't think I'd change a thing. I just think they're really awesome as is. I love the background pattern paper on this one here. It's like um, a spotted fawn. And then we have this one. I love the, the black that they have added to that layout. Isn't that pretty? And there's a lot of photos on there as well. And then the um, little tags sticking out on the side on this one are fun. And I love how they've done the title December Magic and the cluster of embellishments right here and the little um, ink coloring here. I just, they've done, a, they have incorporated a lot of really neat techniques into this layout and I just think it's gorgeous. I, I am really excited about it. And again, the um, you get exclusive die cuts when you get the workshop. So that's kind of fun. And then here's the Holly and Ivy card making workshop. So they have these big die cuts, the tree and the ornament here. And then this would be like a background. So you can stamp this and here they have heat embossed that in gold to give it some texture and shine and really dress up that ornament. And they've done the same to the tree down here. So you get the die cuts, the stamp, and then there's some little uh, sparkly gems in there and cardstock and pattern paper to create 16 cards. Okay, so here we have the mix-in paper pack and the mix-ins are designed to complement the current paper pack. So they're gonna complement both the pumpkin spice and the holly and ivy paper but i love plaid so i'm super excited about this and look at that layout here i've got some fun ideas that i want to do to kind of change this up and make it my own but i just love how they've taken strips of paper and it's just this fun fall wreath i think that's a fun layout so then we get into the stamp sets and i love how they give you these little ideas just kind of little um tags and things that they've made with the stamps that we're going to see. And you could put those on a card or embellish your scrapbook page with those. And just some fun ideas, There's a little shaker element there for Halloween. But this one here is called a World with Octobers at Stamp and Thin Cuts. And again, you can get that without the thin cuts. So I'm so glad I live in a world where there are Octobers and of Green Gables and then Pumpkin Kisses and Harvest Wishes autumn the season that teaches us that change can be beautiful and these pumpkins i like to decorate for fall and i just put lots of pumpkins out and we grow a lot of our own pumpkins and we kind of grow um, this style like the cinderella coach pumpkins and um, so this is uh, just reminds me of the pumpkins we use here at our house every fall so then we get into kind of our fun little Halloween and these are not scary Halloween. These are very fun and playful and whimsical. So we have these cute little um, little ladies here and they each have kind of different accessories, if you will. I lo love the little dog, it's dressed up in a crown and then the kitty has got little fairy wings, but these are really fun. Hey, uh, ghoul friend instead of girlfriend. I'm um, just really fun little elements there. And then of course we can't leave out the boys. So we have the little boy characters and they each have a different you know, set of icons to go with them. This one's fun where you can put the different 
faces on the pumpkin. I think that's a, a really fun idea. And look at this cute little owl. You could do a fun graveyard scene with this tree and the little picket fence and the little graveyard there. Super cute. Okay. We're getting back more into, uh, or more for, blah, blah, blah. we're getting back into more of fall stamps here. This one is just great. I am definitely, actually I did order this, it's on its way, but any stamp set that has title options is a, you know, yes for me because I sometimes struggle with coming up with titles for my scrapbook layouts and there are so many title options on here and even like, secondary titles. Maybe it's not your big main title, but they're kind of just word sentiments you stamp on your layout that help just kind of create the feel for the photos and help tell the story. So crackling fireplace, hot cocoa, friends giving, family gatherings, chunky sweaters, scented candles. Hello, I am a candle junkie and definitely get all the fall scented candles. This one here is called Hunting Dads and um, there's actually, this stamp is separate here. It's called the Horn of Plenty and it's like a cornucopia with sunflowers and beautiful pumpkins in there. And they have um, included a lot of the detailed shading lines in these images, which makes for a gorgeous stamp impression. Stamped impression. So tons of, this is kind of like a masculine birthday card that you can create or masculine themed birthday card um, hunting dads they're like normal dads but better prepared <laughs> i think that's my husband does hunt and so do my boys so um, this i am definitely getting this one leaves we can never have enough leaves this is very fun little fall leaves um, and like some of these don't have to be for fall like this one here i mean you could use that for so many different um, flowers and things like that and these as well. So I tend to think of oak leaves as very fall and the maple leaves but um, yeah there's some good variety on there for sure. Cute little individual stamps here. These are really sweet. Sweeter than pumpkin pie. Eat, drink, and give thanks. Um, those are really cute and then we have this uh, delicious like frappuccino style uh, coffee here. Pumpkin pie, little donut and a cute little coffee treat there and they have some fun artwork that they have done with those okay are you guys excited do you have some favorite items picked out yet if you guys are a big fan of your furry friends you're gonna love this a furry merry christmas stamp there are both dogs and cats on here and the sentiments are just really cute meowy christmas wishing you a perfect christmas happy holidays and please navidad super cute these images are really fun to color in with the spectrum noir tri-blend markers and um, or you can use the watercolor pencils on those as well then we have some pretty Christmas stamps, good tidings of great joy. And then we have the uh, fun little angels here. I love this little cloud with the hanging stars, peace on earth and peace and love. Very nice little Christmas cards you can make with that one. And then more Christmas stamps. This is one of my favorites, Farm Fresh Christmas. I just absolutely love the style of it and I am super excited about this one. So again, lots of title options here. And then we have the silhouette of the buck here, uh, milk and cookies, gingerbread, sugar, chocolate chips, snickerdoodle. Um, I don't know if you guys have favorite Christmas cookies. I'm kind of a uh, gingerbread kind of a gal. My husband likes sugar cookies and snickerdoodles, but then again, he likes all cookies. So I don't know if his opinion really counts. Farm fresh uh, Christmas trees and then pine, spruce, fir, and cypress. I just think that's really cute. Imagine if you went to get a Christmas tree and took pictures out in the forest or at the Christmas tree lot or something like that. This would be a really fun uh, title for that page. And then more here, this little collection of trees. There's different types of pine trees. This is probably one stamp here. And I think that you could do some really neat things with this one for both cards and scrapbooking. But they uh, made kind of a border across the bottom here. And you could create a scene with those super easy. And I think those are really pretty. Oops. Okay. This one's fun. It's called Jubilee Borders. And it has a little bit for 
all the seasons. We have pumpkins. Um, this little tree could be, or row of trees could be used for a lot of things. The snowy hills, and then we have kind of a, it could be winter or Christmas, and then of course the stockings. So a little bit of fall and Christmas mixed in, and, and they're the perfect size to go across an A2 card. So that's really fun as well. And then this one, they have created like a little postcard with that. And so these kind of look like stamps, Happy Holidays, Santa's Airmail, Merry Christmas, and it has a date on there. Um, so these are really uh, fun little, well, these are separate stamps, this one and this one. And this is the Holly Day postcard. So you can create your own postcards or create a postcard and use it as an embellishment on your scrapbook layout, kind of how I would use a pocket card. You kind of create your own pocket cards and customize the color with the ink and everything and use those as embellishments. So it's so fun to create your own gift tags for your gift wrapping. And these are perfect. They're die cuts that cut out these tag shapes and then the stamp to go on top of it. And you can color those in or stamp them on colored paper. Um, lots of things you could do there, but these are really funny. I love these sentiments. Christmas calories don't count. They say less is more, right? It was either this or socks. I think that one is hilarious. Shaking me will reveal nothing. Super fun little kind of just uh, humorous stamp options there. Okay, so then we have our month stamps. I know a lot of you are big fans of the month stamps and I love them. And so they're called months of the year and they have one for every month. And they always have things like this one is kind of back to school themed obviously for September. But um, I love this big like stamp of the alphabets here. I think that's cute. I'm gonna do I have some ideas for what I want to do with this, but um, my kids are still in school, so or school age, so I'm definitely loving this stamp. But best friends, you've got this. You know, you could definitely use this for different things, pencils and crayons, and you know, scissors. Uh, hello, scrapbooking supplies, right? I don't know if we use crayons. Maybe like the art color crayons, right? And then we have one for October, which is um, Halloween themed. We have pumpkins and um, autumn harvest, October, spooky, eek, little moon and cute little bat, um, a little border of candy down there. And they've done some fun uh, artwork with these. You can see they have made calendars, like a little mini calendar at a glance, and then you can make your own um, full size calendar as well. Those are fun to do. You put on you know, a scrapbook layout on the top and then use your stamps to personalize the bottom of the calendar. And then this is a special that I'm excited to tell you about. So this is called Slimline Celebration. And if you are all into Slimline cards, I think you're going to love this. Of course, I immediately, I love making cards, but I'm a scrapbooker at uh, first and foremost. And I'm thinking these die cuts, so this is like a cluster of circles and then stars. You can see how they've used them, the star background and then the circles in a couple different ways. Those are gonna be really cool on scrapbook layouts. So they have so much, available in this slimline celebration special for national stamping month um, and you can if you love it all there's even a bundle option so we have the cute little gnomes here everybody loves gnomes they've been super popular um, this is fishy greetings and then thoughtful critters which this is my favorite i just love the little woodland creatures and i think those are super cute little happy porky or hedgehog there a raccoon and a little squirrel owl and bunny they're just super cute and and you could do birthday cards or just let's celebrate some you know everyday type cards and then this is really neat this is a sentiment stamp kind of well it is designed for slim lines so you can see it's very li uh, long to fill out that space in the slim line cards so they have some go both going vertical and horizontal um, but yeah i think that this is really cool and i love mix and matching fonts like that a little bit older and a lot more fabulous that's going to make a great birthday card thinking of you always makes my day i can't believe how lucky i am to have a friend like you that um, you mean a lot to me thanks for everything so really neat little stamps here 
we may live far apart, but you're always in my heart. And some things get better with age and you are definitely one of them. So a very big or a very extra big thanks. That's cute. We can never have too many thank you cards, right? So then we have a section of thin cuts. Now this is absolutely beautiful. This is a thin cut and it's very scripty. Um, and those thin cuts allow you like the die cuts to get these very delicate fonts. So you can um, cut these out in any color of cardstock or pattern paper and use them as a title on your scrapbook page or on your cards. And then they have these adorable, I'll hold this up, mini peppermints. I don't know if you can see those there. And they have, oops, we're kind of blurry, um, some sequins. It's called Autumn Loose Sequins. And there's leaves in there and beads and then uh, fall colored sequins, like coppery color uh, little sequins in there. It's super pretty. This one is the September stamp of the month. So as you guys who are familiar with Close to Heart, My Heart know, the stamp of the month for that month, it's only available through the month of September. You can get this for $5 with your qualifying purchase. Or if you're one of my VIPs, like we talked about in the beginning, you can get that absolutely free. So kind of a title builder type stamp. Grateful for this day. Uh, we are grateful, we are thankful, unbelievably grateful. So you can kind of mix and match sentiments and build your title. So here, for example, they are so very grateful every day for these memories. And it's just really neat how they have inked that up and it has like an ombre effect and then stamp the other text directly onto the layout. And then we can't forget about October. So this is the October stamp of the month and I think it's really pretty. This is a unique stamp and it would be really fun to color. I love how they have given these little animals this beautiful detailing. I mean, look at the fox, that's my favorite. So pretty, little flowers and then the tail and the owl and her pretty wings there. I just think that's really neat. So tell me what you guys are most excited about in this catalog. I don't know. I'm super excited about, well, too many things to probably list off. I love the workshops. I love all the pumpkins and the vintage Christmas stamps. So much crafty goodness. Close to My Heart actually gives you a free catalog and they are doing that when you place an order. They will give you an option to add that onto your cart and they'll send it with your order. And there is also the core catalog that launches September 1st and this I'm going to do a separate video on this one so this video is not crazy long but you can get both of these catalogs right now uh, they'll add this to your order and ship them directly to you so thanks for watching guys bye bye